What up, Gang Line? Carolina Jack Pop Time coming at you. It's Wednesday afternoon. Guess what? I'm finally feeling a little bit better now. So, time to make some video yo 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 yos. Yeah, today was National Sign Day, wasn't it? I mean, technically it was, but I mean, really, it wasn't. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything anymore. I think the Gamecocks finished up with the 25th recruiting class this year. Eh, yeah, uh, I'm not so sure how I feel about that. Uh, I'd like to have seen us be a little bit higher uh, at this point in Shane Beamer's tenure. Now, uh, of course, killed it in the transfer portal, and we knowed we was going to have to. Knowed we was going to have to. Um, but, you know, when you see Kentucky and Missouri uh, ahead of South Carolina in uh, the recruiting rankings, uh, I mean, it's, it's really sickening. It's a real kick in the nuts. Um, and then when you see Clemson, of course, uh, the, the, far from the elite level that they're normally recruiting at, but they still finished higher in South Carolina uh, by a considerable margin and uh, had a lot smaller class. Uh, it really ruffles my jimmies a lot. But anyway, that's not really the, uh, the premise of this video. Uh, what I want to talk about, uh, Connor Shaw, uh, former Gamecock quarterback, um, has, has left the program. He, he, he is no longer with the program. That was huge news today. And if you go over to the Gamecock message boards and read about it, it's, it's, whoa, whoa, woe is us. Oh, pitiful us. Oh, Lord, this is, this is not good. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, God dang, people, come on. You know, get a damn hold of yourselves. Get a fucking hold of yourselves. First off, this guy, has has been foot half in, half out of the door uh, as as far as, as a Gamecock coach uh, for years. Uh, he's been a, an analyst. He, he was on the field for a couple of games uh, after Muschamp got fired. I mean, he's been in the press box. He's been around the program. He's been totally away from the program. He went to Furman. He coached the tight ends for, I mean, he didn't even go through a season before he quit that. And he went into private business. He said, and this, this dude is barely 30 years old. He's barely 30 years old. So here's my thing. I don't think he wants to be a football coach. I really don't. I think he's trying to find his way in this tangled web called life. And I just think being a football coach is just not part of his forte. I mean, who knows why? I mean, it, it may be, you know, the... Um, the, the, the kids of today, maybe he just don't want to deal with it. Maybe, um, you know, it, it's, it's stress that he doesn't, uh, want to do it. Maybe, you know, he's got a young, uh, child. I know young family, you know, it takes a lot of time away from you being a college football coach. He doesn't want part of that. I don't know. Could it be something that went in the program? Who knows? I don't know. He may have looked at Spencer Rattler and said, look at this big ass ego coming in. I, I mean, I don't want any part of that. I'm out, bud. I, who, who, who cares? Who, I don't, I don't know. It, but, but you know what? It, the program is not falling apart because of it. The program is not calling, falling apart because of it. And everybody's blaming Marcus Satterfield. Well, Marcus Satterfield is a common denominator. You know, if you'll listen to, if you'll read the lines in, in between what Connor said in his little 80 second press conference, how can a press conference be 80 seconds? Well, he gave a statement. It's the way he did. It was 80 seconds. It wasn't a press conference. Um, well, if you read between the lines, it was Marcus Satterfield. Okay. Well, you know what? Two months ago, uh, y'all were singing, well, not two, uh, a month ago, y'all were singing Marcus Satterfield's praises after uh, we spread UNC's uh, carcass all over the field in our home away from home, Bank of America Stadium, uh, and the Duke's Mayo Bowl. So I guess now uh, he's shit again because uh, Connor Shaw left the program. I mean, come on, people. Get, get real. You get real. The, the guy doesn't want to be a football coach. I doubt that he resurfaces as a football coach. He may, but I, I, I don't see it. I think the guy will go into some kind of business for himself or, uh, you know, whatever his field is. That's what he's going to get into, whatever he graduated from or whatever his major was. Uh, with that being said, uh, Eric Kimry, uh, former Gamecock quarterback, um, left the program also. Now, he was the, uh, what, the tight ends coach uh, at South Carolina. 
last year, and he'd been uh, for years and years uh, the head football coach at Hammond High in uh, Columbia, which is a private school. Coach people like Jordan Birch, who plays for the Gamecocks, and uh, Alex Huntley, another Gamecock player. Uh, also, Jackson Muschamp. Uh, <laughs> I think he's still on the team at uh, Georgia. Maybe. I don't know. Who really cares? Uh, the spawn of Will Muschamp. Yeah. So, he leaves the program, and he took a job at another private school, uh, the Baylor School in Tennessee. Okay, I mean, you know, and, and, and people are all up in arms about that one. Oh, this is not good for the program. This is not good right here. Why, why is it not good? I mean, he, he tried the coaching thing in college, and he probably didn't like it. He probably didn't like it. He, he was a, a high school coach for years. And to be quite honest with you, that's probably where his forte was. Probably where his forte was. He's another one. Probably uh, doesn't really like coaching the college game. The high school game, probably a lot less ego, probably a lot less me, me, me uh, with that. And he's coaching at a very well-known and prestigious uh, private school, again, which means some significant cha-ching with a lot more time off and a lot less stress. Uh, so I don't blame the guy one bit. Uh, for leaving, I mean, I mean, well, does he had a, a potential NFL career? Uh, no, probably not. So, uh, you know what? I, good luck. I mean, you know, it, good luck to both of them. I mean, but Eric Kimry leaving South Carolina after one year, and um, Connor Shaw, who has never even really been an official uh, coach uh, of any sort at South Carolina, uh, has left the program and uh, is going to do something else. Uh, these are, are not reasons to abandon ship, burn down the stadium, uh, you know, slash all the tires on the Beamer bus, and uh, just say to hell with it, this season's, this season's just shit. I mean, it's crazy. There, there are a lot more things concerning to me as a Gamecock football fan. A lot of things that I choose to make important, that I choose to bitch about, that don't have anything to do with uh, Connor Shaw uh, leaving the, 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 the football program. One of them uh, is, uh, well, how about not being able to score a damn point against your arch rival last year? How about going into that game so ill-fucking-prepared that you made a mediocre-ass Clemson team look like the 85 Chicago Bears? How about that? I mean, that, that, that's something that I would be a bit concerned about. That's something I'd be a bit concerned about. I'd be a bit concerned about getting out-recruited uh, by Missouri uh, and uh, fucking Kentucky. Uh, those are, are things that are, are concerning uh, to me at this point. Getting out-recruited by Florida. Florida has finished ranked number 20 in recruiting. How? I don't know. Uh, they were in the toilet, it just seemed like, a few weeks ago. Uh, I don't know how that was pulled off, but uh, I, I'm going to tell you what. I hate those son of bitches more than uh, anything not called Clemson. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, there will not be enough ass kickings ever uh, in the future for them uh, to be administered by the Gamecocks or by any other team uh, in the world of college football uh, on the Florida Gators. So uh, you can put that in your fat pipe and smoke it. That's about what I think about that. Uh, guys, let's get refocused. Let's get excited about the season that's coming up. We're going to do some really, really good things. And um, wish Connor Shaw well. Because, I mean, he really was a great quarterback at South Carolina. He was. But guess what? Those 11 win seasons that he led us to, they're not doing a damn thing for us right now, are they? <laughs> they're not. They're not winning. They're not, they're not beating Clemson. They're not beating Clemson, that's for damn sure. They're, they're, they're not beating Texas A&M. They're not playing competitive games against Georgia. They're not failing to get blown out by a mediocre Tennessee team. Let Connor Shaw be. Let him do his thing. And let's do our thing. And that's being big old motherfucking Gamecocks. I'll see y'all later. Appreciate it. Peace. I'm out. Spurs up to the toes up. Join us tonight at, li at 930 for the live show. I will see y'all later. Peace. And I'm out. Go Cox. Go Coach Beamer. And go Spencer Rattler. Ah, 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 woo!